The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, he is one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Chris Jericho! This guy's hot, red hot, and he claims to be the king of the world. And his tag team partner, Christian, did not fare very well earlier tonight against RVD, who will be in the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series along with Jericho. It's a little odd to look at these guys as partners here tonight, knowing that in the Elimination Chamber, they are all going to be against each other. Well, of course, add Rod Van Dam and Shawn Michaels to the mix. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. It'll be every man for himself, King, and each and every one of them has one goal in mind, to be the World Heavyweight Champion. And can you believe that impact? Work is being put in by Booker T. We don't know exactly what to expect when we see the Elimination Chamber unveiled in Survivor Series, but we do know that it will combine elements of War Games, the Royal Rumble, and Survivor Series. And add to that the importance of the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, I, for one, cannot wait for Survivor Series. And that's a stiff kick. a substantial beatdown. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? He was able to reverse that. Hey, showing some expert prowess here. When Survivor Series comes and all six superstars are locked inside the Elimination Chamber, Rob Van Dam will be the only one who has never held a world title. 
Do you expect that to impact RVD negatively once the bell rings, King? Of course it will. There's something to be said about having been there before and the experience that goes along with it. The five other superstars know exactly what it takes to become champion. Rob Van Dam can only assume he knows. What height on that leg drop? Got out of the way of that one. You hear how his leg connected? Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. You know, Cole, the more I think about it, the more I like Chris Jericho's chances at Survivor Series. When the title's on the line, Y2J is at his best. And this is the guy who beat The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin on the same night. It was December of last year at Vengeance. Jericho first beat The Rock to become world champion. Then WWE champion Stone Cold to become the first historic undisputed champion. You know, Booker T hasn't gotten the opportunities that many feel he deserves to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, he'll have a huge opportunity inside the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series. And you can bet he wants to build momentum heading into Survivor Series. He can do just that right here tonight if he can fend off Triple H and Chris Jericho. You know, not only is Chris Jericho one half of the World Tag Team Champions, but he's also a huge rock star. Well, he says he is. Some people would actually say he's an ass clown. What? <laughs> Now, why would you say that, Cole? You're the one acting like an ass clown. You know, we may be getting ahead of ourselves with all this Shawn Michaels talk, Cole. He still has to accept the invite into the Elimination Chamber match. And with so much on the line, you would assume he would. But then again, we have no idea what condition his back is in. Remember, he's only competed in one match in four years thanks to that surgically repaired back. Yeah, but if he does agree to compete, it'll be his first Survivor Series since 1997. And of course, everybody remembers the controversy surrounding the 1997 Survivor Series and the role Shawn Michaels played in taking the WWE title from Bret Hart. Booker T with a slick reversal. Look at Booker T making his move. Astonishing maneuver by Booker T. He's begging for it. Booker sizing him up. Oh my gosh! When are you people going to learn to get over stuff? I mean, Triple H does one little thing to Shawn Michaels, and he can't get over it. And then Triple H makes one funny little video about Kane, and now Kane's all upset. You thought that was funny, King? Yeah. That was anything but funny. Oh, come on. What about that video of Triple H's last week? I bet you thought that was hilarious. Let's not forget Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship on September 2nd. Oh, I'm so sick of you throwing that in Triple H's face. He's defended it numerous times since then. He's beaten everybody in WWE. Actually, that's not true, King. There's a few left, and if you eliminate Ric Flair at a sledgehammer, Triple H wouldn't even be champion today. What? Chris Jericho says he's sick of Booker T calling him sucker. And I'm being honest, I agree. He has a name, you know. Jericho has also said he has more talent in his pinky finger than Booker T has in his whole body, which is obviously a gross misestimation. And he gets back in the ring. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Look at him out there, reaching for the tag. He can't wait to get back in the mix. What a shot! He got him! Jericho and Triple H are partners here tonight, but you have to wonder how much longer these guys can coexist. Earlier this year, at WrestleMania 18, it was the game beating Y2J for the undisputed title. Well, let me just say this. I actually wonder how long Booker T and Kane are going to coexist. They're both going to be in the Elimination Chamber, and they're both a couple of freaks. Booker T and Kane have some integrity. I think they're going to be just fine. It's the guys across the ring from them that I'm a little suspect about. Integrity? Booker T and Chris Jericho have been developing quite the rivalry the past couple of weeks. I remember so vividly in Las Vegas after Booker T won a steel cage match. He had his head busted open at the hands of Chris Jericho. Oh, I remember Vegas, all right. I'm sure you do, King. Did you get your ticket punched? Well, I did find out what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas. 
Triple H says he's that damn good to win the Elimination Chamber match. And I don't disagree, but a Survivor Series record is something to be concerned about. I agree, King. Triple H has never won a match at Survivor Series. That has to bother the game as he heads into one of the biggest matches of his career. Yeah, and I was one of his partners back in 1996 when we lost a traditional Survivor Series Elimination match to The Rock, Jake the Snake Roberts, Mark Merrill, and The Stalker. And that was a huge counter. Wow, think of HBK's career. And another great moment that sticks out in my mind. And will this be it? I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Shawn Michaels is firmly in the mind of Triple H and Ric Flair, and quite frankly, probably Y2J2. Well, don't stop there, Cole. All five of Michaels' opponents at Survivor Series have to keep him in their mind. If healthy, he gets it. He's done. Great job of turning that around. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. You know, I'd like to take this moment to thank Booker T for taking his recent Falls Count Anywhere match on Raw into the Divas dressing room. We really don't get that kind of access. To what a move. What a smart move. is going to return to the ring. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right. What a maneuver. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. You have to respect the cut. He may get the three count right here. Well, look at this. Here's the cover by Booker. And saving the matchup was Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho looking for the walls on Booker T. Oh, Top rope came. 300 plus pounds flooring Chris Jericho. And now he takes the fight to oh. Jericho outside. Watch out here. Oh my gosh. Came into those steel steps. Off the apron. And now Booker ah! T with a big kick. That could do it. Triple H flattened by that big kick from Booker T. What's Booker doing now? Well, Booker usually doesn't go up top. Booker oh. T is Triple H. Stepped out of the way. And now Triple H is going to take advantage right to the midsection. Oh Looking boy. The pedigree now. On Booker T. Wait yes. a minute. Shawn Michaels. Music! Dropping Triple H, the official down and out, he never saw it. The showstopper putting the referee back in the ring. Shawn Michaels just stopped this show for Triple H. 
Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music on Triple H. And all Booker T has to do now is cover the game.